U.S. Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel said today the potential for problems with patient backlogs at the country's VA hospitals began before General Eric Shinseki took over as Secretary of Veterans Affairs. But Hagel says accountability is paramount. This week, Shinseki will have to answer some tough questions on Capitol Hill from lawmakers who want to know how and why some veterans died after being put on secret wait lists at VA hospitals. Here's CNN's Aaron McPike. Revelations that veterans hospitals from Phoenix to San Antonio tried to hide signs of a growing backlog for care has turned into a Washington controversy, forcing Veterans Affairs Secretary Aaron Shinseki to the Hill to explain how it happened. If these allegations are true, they're a violation of law, and it's not a matter of resignations, it's a matter of whether somebody goes to jail or not. Already, several Republican senators want him to resign. But I agree with the American Legion that General Shinseki's time as Secretary of uh, Veterans Affairs has come to an end. NBC News asked, would he consider the option? I would say I uh, serve at the pleasure of the president. So far, the White House insists the president, quote, still has complete confidence in Shinseki. But deciding whether to hold on or let go of a top-ranking official is tricky territory for the president. When former General Stanley McChrystal and his team were described in a Rolling Stone article as criticizing the president and vice president, he was out immediately. But Kathleen Sebelius stayed put through the Rocky Obamacare rollout in the face of repeated calls for her to leave by the GOP. Getting rid of a cabinet secretary is actually very, very rare. Presidents, whether Republican or Democrat, are really going to think twice before they do that. And having the opposition call for a resignation is not really going to be something that they take into their real calculus at the end of the day. And not everyone is trying to push Shinseki out the door just yet. Even House Speaker John Boehner said Thursday... I'm not ready to, uh, to join the, the chorus of people calling for him to step down. Uh, the problems uh, at the VA are systemic. As in complicated and not so easy to politicize. As Illinois Republican Congressman Aaron Schock told CNN... The one thing that brings Republicans and Democrats together is veterans and making sure that our men and women, when they get back, get the, uh, the benefits and the services that they deserve and are, and are delivered in a respectful manner. Uh, and clearly that didn't happen in this case. Aaron McPike joining us now live from Washington. So Aaron, this could be tricky, politically speaking, for the Obama administration, um, couldn't it? Fred, that's right. And as you heard there, it is complicated for them because leaders in both parties believe that some problems within the VA system really throughout the country may not be coming from the leadership and it could in fact run much deeper. And Senate Republicans, for example, are split on Shinseki's future at the VA. And some of those who will question him at Thursday's hearing that you mentioned there at the top have told CNN that they're reserving judgment till they hear his answers. And I would also point out that Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel was on ABC this morning and he said that he doesn't think that it started with Shinseki's term at the VA and that they should have looked at it years ago. He says he thinks they missed it, Fred. All right, Aaron McPike in Washington, thanks so much.